Yeah, I'm glad he's off the street because he was he he had some kind of vendetta against the homeless people. A metro man accused of targeting the homeless is arrested after police found him making bombs inside his place of employment. Our Sylvia Corkill talked to one man who had a terrifying run in with this guy. Sylvia. Carl, a man I spoke with who did not want to be identified said he crossed paths with Troy Lee. He said Lee believed he was homeless, became enraged, and then tried to shoot him. You know, and he had on a ski mask. But I could see his eyes and part of his nose. The victim says he was riding his bicycle near this manufacturing business when one of its employees, later identified as Troy Lee, made a beeline for him. And that's when he pulled the gun out and took a shot. He says only after convincing Lee that he was not homeless that he was able to get away. I actually saw my life flash before my eyes at that point. He says Lee then turned his attention to a homeless camp located behind his place of work. That's when I looked up and I saw the plume of smoke. I'm like, oh no, he's burning the camps. The former homeless camp reduced to charred rubble. And weeks later, the man says a series of explosions rattled the neighborhood. Uh, every other day, he was doing some big booms that would shake the ground and shake the windows in my house. Concerned neighbors called police, where they found a homemade explosive device. According to reports, officers saw Lee run into this building and shut the bay door. Once inside, police arrested him after finding an additional homemade explosive device. Days later, the business owner contacted police concerned about Lee's workstation. In a backpack belonging to Lee, bomb squad members determined it contained an improvised explosive device manufactured manufacturing lab. The owner telling police Lee recently told him the only way to deal with the homeless is through violence. Because I heard his explosion devices had uh, like screws and nails and stuff that would shoot out. Now Lee did have an outstanding warrant for his arrest out of other state. He also has multiple felony convictions, including one for terroristic threats. Live from Oklahoma City Police Headquarters, Sylvia Corkill, Oklahoma Zone, News 9.